We're here at Daniel Island at one of the most popular Chinese restaurants in the Low Country. But you wouldn't think of it by looking at it. From the outside, it's nestled between a Domino's Pizza and a Subway. What? But when you walk inside, you're going to be transported to the Far East. The interior is all imported from China, and they have an amazing Chinese menu. And we're here to have dim sum. Let's check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. From the outside, Dragon Palace looks like any other strip mall Chinese restaurant. But when you go through those doors, you're transformed to the Far East, as the interior, the walls, the ceiling, the furniture was all imported from China. We were blown away by the sheer beauty of the interior. It really sets a mood. Dragon Palace isn't just about the food, it's about the experience. You really do kind of feel like you're stepping into a palace with all this ornate artwork and really intricate wood carvings. Dragon Palace offered excellent service. When we walked in the door, we were greeted with big smiles and we never had to wait long before a server came to our table to ask what we wanted. The menu here is pretty extensive and they offer a little bit for everybody. But for me specifically, I came for the dim sum, which is offered between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. It's not a garden variety Chinese restaurant. This is a place, like I said, where you want to go and have an experience. I decided to have the mango mojito, which had mango rum, mango puree, triple sec, fresh lime, mint, and soda water. The sweetness of the mango pairs well with that nice minty, refreshing flavor. My wife decided to go tropical with the standard Mai Tai, Bacardi Myers rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, triple sec, and grenadine. This sweet fruity drink really paired well with our meal. My daughter-in-law went with the lemon ginger martini, which had vodka, fresh lemon juice, ginger, simple syrup, and a splash of Sprite. I love enjoying a great cocktail before a meal. One of my favorite aspects of this place is this lazy Susan in the middle of the table. It's perfect for sharing. If you're having dim sum or appetizers, you just spin it around and serve yourself. Now when you eat here, you should definitely try the Dragon Palace Sampler. This has all their best appetizers. Spring rolls, crab puffs, seafood rolls, honey glazed roast pork, and ginger crispy shrimp. The menu says it serves two people, but you better have a voracious appetite if two people are going to have this as an appetizer and then have a meal. My daughter-in-law decided to get the pork egg roll, and it was quite impressive, a nice large size, and definitely had lots of filling on the inside, and was nice and crispy. Who doesn't love a good egg roll? Now for the start of my dim sum journey, I got the sesame balls, and they were nice and sweet, and had a great texture to them, they were very flavorful. Up next, I had a personal favorite of mine, the Crystal Shrimp Dumplings, and they did not disappoint. They were packed with shrimp, and the dumplings had that perfect chewy texture that you're looking for. If you order any dim sum, be sure to get these. Equally enjoyable was the Shu Mai, with that flavorful pork filling in the center of it. I really like the fact that they're nice and big and they were very filling and the stuffing inside flavored perfectly. Now my son recommended the little juicy pork buns and it was a good suggestion because the name fits. They were very juicy on the inside and they had a nice bit of sweetness that paired well with that soy sauce that you dip them in. If you're a fan of dim sum, Dragon Palace will not disappoint you. Now the rest of my group decided to go with a more traditional route, ordering Chinese dishes. And my daughter-in-law got the walnut shrimp. This dish had impressively large shrimp with broccoli, chestnuts, and carrots, and topped with candied walnuts. 
It was such a nice sized portion that she was able to take half of it home to enjoy for a second meal. My wife decided to go with the sauteed ribeye Q, steak medallions with peppers, wood ear mushrooms, and onions. The steak was tender and plentiful, and I really enjoyed the fact that they used red onions. Red onions are a personal favorite of mine, and really good for cooking. Oh, and I forgot to mention that all meals come with a choice of white, brown, or fried rice. My son decided to go with the cashew chicken, which had snow peas, asparagus, baby corn, celery, and carrots, and of course, topped with cashews. The plate was very colorful, and when I say he cleaned the plate, I mean literally, he cleaned the plate. Dragon Palace is so different from any other Chinese restaurant I've been to. From the authentic interior, to the fun way of serving food with that Lazy Susan, to the delicious Chinese food that they serve. You should definitely give this place a try. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps to grow the channel. And we put out a new restaurant video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.